Now let's make a yeah, town gate method. Public void town gate. So this is where the story begins. So at first, we're gonna display some town gate text here. So UI dot main text area set text. You are at the gate of the town. And line break. A guard is standing in front of you. Line break, line break. What do you do? And also, we put the uh, text on these buttons as well. Set text. Uh, bottom one is talk to the guard. To set text uh, attack the guard. And uh, choice three uh, leave. Choice four uh, nothing. Hmm. So I think we can add this town gate method after this uh, title to town. So story dot town gate. So like this. So click start. Yeah. Now you can see this town gate method and these buttons as well. And okay, now we're gonna do something a bit different. After displaying these texts, we're gonna set the parameter. We're gonna set the parameter for each button. So one, two, three, four. And uh, I'm gonna call this parameter as a next position. I think I'm gonna make uh, this next position in this game class. So and it's string and uh, next position one next position two next position three and next position four hmm. and so how to use these strings so here we need to access game class so first type like this game dot and the next position one equal talk guard game dot next position two equal uh, attack guard and game dot next position three equal leave or oh. Maybe crossroad. Crossroad is better, I think. Hmm. And okay, let's make a few more methods first. So public void talk guard. And also public void attack guard. And uh, public void crossroad. Hmm. Yeah, so now we are in front of the town gate and uh, if you click this choice button one, we want to call this talk guard method and uh, if you click this second button, then we want to call this attack guard and the third and the crossroad. And so this, okay, and uh, this is not necessary, but uh, hmm. just I'm gonna type it. So typing like this, this information tells the program what's the next position. And let me make uh, another method here. Public void select position and string and next position. And so, okay, let's go back to this game class. And now inside of this your choice, first choice one, bottom one, story dot uh, select position. And here 
we're gonna use this next position one this one and for this button two story dot selected what select position hmm. position and the next position two and uh, select position next position three uh, okay story not a story story select position and the next position four mm. and uh, this choice handler is done this is everything and i think this game class is also done probably <laughs> yeah let's see and so anyway this is definitely done switch statement so okay let me do a little in, in inside of this uh, select position and uh, here we make another switch statement and the parameter is next position and uh, case talk guard then talk guard and case wait a minute let's copy this attack guard then attack guard and case load uh, cross load wait mm. so what this means this select position method is receiving this parameter next position and so if this received next position was talk guard then let's call talk guard this method we haven't written anything yet but uh, yeah and uh, if next position was attack guard then uh, let's call attack guard method and crossroad then uh, let's call crossroad and inside of this town gate so we've already put some parameter or uh, yeah, text into this each next position and if you click this bottom one then uh, it's gonna use this next position one and if you click two and it's going to use next position two and uh, send this information to this select position mm. it's a bit complicated but basically so if you are at this town gate and if you click this talk guard button one then uh, it's going to send send this talk guard to this here c1 since it's bottom one so and this is gonna send talk guard to this select position uh, where is it here talk guard it receives talk guard so this one and it's gonna call this method so that's how it works last time we handled this everything in this handler method so that's why switch tree becomes very long basically it's gonna continue forever as long as you you are adding a new location or new text mm. yeah you still need to type you know like this but i think this is much easier to organize then uh, so for example basically copy this everything and paste this and the change inside of this and uh next position is a town gate and no nothing for this bottom two three four this means if you click bottom one then uh, it's gonna call uh, this town gate method then uh, we should add this town gate okay uh, yeah, so let's check the program. Start. And if you click this 
talk to the guard. Hmm, hello stranger, I have never seen your face. And if you click this, then uh, you know we go back to this town gate method. And the attack guard is so this time we receive the damage, so we're gonna use this player HP uh, equal player HP minus three. And also use this uh, HP number label and set text uh, plus player at HP. Hmm. Continue button and the town gate. Yeah, and this is done. And okay, so this time, so we are at the crossroad, and uh, okay, next position is uh, north, uh, east, south, no, not south, sorry. Uh, so south, going south means uh, going back to the town gate. So town gate here, and west. And so your HP recovered. Player dot HP call player dot HP plus two. And east is so you can find a long sword if you go east. So you walked into a forest. And found a long sword for some reason. I don't know why, but uh, yeah, yeah. This time, this time you found a long sword. So your weapon changes from knife to long sword. So we type like this: player dot current weapon and equal new weapon long sword and import this so just like we did at the beginning of the game so this default setup player dot current weapon equal new weapon knife mm. so this time not knife but long sword uh, this class long sword class and display the name uh, on this weapon name label set text and here uh, player dot current weapon dot name mm, okay and so if you go west then you encounter a monster so now we need to make another class monster class but let me check the okay just a moment uh, okay let me add nose okay so let's check this program so far okay talk to the guard okay attack the guard yeah we receive three damage and leave. We are crossroad. Go north. Yeah, we can heal ourselves and uh, go east. Then uh, yeah, we can find a long sword. And now weapon name is long sword. And go west. Nothing happens because we haven't written anything inside of this west. Okay, so it's working perfectly so far.